Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe before you leave and click the little bell, that way you don't miss out because I'm uploading every single day this entire month of December. So we're having a lot of fun here on my channel and I don't want you guys to miss out. But today's video is a hair video and it's been a while since I did like a hair coloring video. So I'm really excited to show you guys. I needed to touch up my roots and since my hair is super light, my roots are dark, dark black. So I wanted to kind of show you guys how I do it. I've done a few videos in the past, but I just wanted to give you guys like an updated how I color my roots. Okay, so what I'm gonna be using to dye my hair today is this L'Oreal Paris Feria. Um, and I'm using the color 1121. It's called Ultra Pro Blonde and it's especially made for dark hair. So when you're touching up your roots and your hair is already light, you want to pick up something that's made for dark hair so that you can actually lift the color of your version dark hair. And then also, um, I want to show you guys, like, it lifts your hair around three different shades. So in the box comes four items. You're only gonna be needing three of them right now. You're going to need number one, which is the developer or the color gel. And then you're going to need number two. This is the developer. And then they give you some kind of a serum, which always helps your hair. And you wanna make sure to use that. So we're gonna be mixing all of these together. I'm gonna take the color gel and put that inside of your developer bottle. And then pop open your little serum and then drop all of that into your bottle tube. They also give you gloves and these are not the best gloves, but they work and they're disposable. You only need it once, so it's okay. Uh, and then you want to shake your bottle up and make sure that everything is mixed and ready for you to start applying. Okay, so if you guys can see, my roots are really, really black. They're very dark and it just looks really weird with the rest of my hair. So that's what we're gonna focus on today is just the roots. I'm going to be dyeing my roots and then the ends of the hair is just gonna kinda freshen up the color. Oh, and another thing is before you color your hair, you always want to brush out all the knots and tangles, which is what I like to do with a giant comb. You can get this kind of comb at the dollar store, Walmart, basically anywhere. It's very inexpensive and really, really easy to get all the knots and tangles out. Okay, we're gonna start dyeing our hair and I wanted to show you guys a back view because I feel like it will just give you an easier perspective of what I'm doing. So, I don't dye my hair in any kind of a professional way. I kinda eyeball it and it works for me. This is how I do it and it just gives me the best results for my own hair. And that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. So what I like to do is tie all my hair up. And this way I can focus on the bottom right here first. I also forgot to mention that you're going to need either like a hair dyeing brush or I like to use a rat tail comb. These are super cheap. You can get a pack of like 10 for very, very cheap. And it works for me because I, I put the dye on and then I like to just brush the dye upwards. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So what I like to do is put the dye all over the bottom of my bun. Now you're going to probably need two different mirrors so that you can see what you're doing um, and go a little bit slow. And then what I like to do is take my rat tail comb and just brush all the hair dye upwards. You also want to make sure that you're wearing a shirt that you don't really care about getting destroyed and also like lay something down on the floor if you don't want the color to get everywhere. Um, but this is what I like to do to make sure that the bottom of my hair matches the rest of my hair, especially when I put it up in a bun. And then what I do is I let down all my hair and I will take, um, just, I'll leave like another inch or inch and a half of hair and then I'll tie the rest up. And this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my hair is just, you keep leaving a little bit, like an inch or an inch and a half out every time and then you just work on those little sections at a time. You wanna make sure to get behind your ears and like every little section just because you don't wanna have like a chunk of your dark hair left. Sometimes I like to just use my fingers to kind of press the dye in and then the next step, you want to just take out like another inch of hair and take that and put it down. Um, it's easier to work in one inch sections and that way it's even better because you know that all your roots are getting dyed. If you have longer hair than I do or if you have thicker hair than I do, then you probably want to pick up two box dyes. For me, since I'm only focusing majority on my roots, I just picked up one and um, I'm not focusing that much on the ends of my hair. I'm, I just want to blend my roots with the rest of my hair. 
and make sure that you drag the dye down just a little bit so that everything kind of blends into like a gradient effect and there's no like just color and then a cut off. Okay, so now I'm going to be working on the side of my hair and I like to, when I have not that much hair left in the back, when I'm basically done doing the back, I go in the side and I kind of just pick up the hair like going one inch, one inch, one inch and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. For me this is easier but if the other way is easier for you guys then go ahead and keep using that. And then after you do that you just want to take another like one inch section and bring that down. Well, that's basically what you're going to finish your hair out doing is just taking one inch sections pop it over put the dye on and like blend it through so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and then I'll be right back so once you're all done putting all the dye on the roots you're gonna have a lot of dye left over because you don't want to be using too much anyways but what I like to do is just go around my hairline um, so I'm, I don't have a mirror right now so I'm not really completely seeing what I'm doing but I really suggest you have a mirror when you're doing this but you want to go around your hairline and then you kind of want to blend the dye around your hairline because this is the part where everybody's gonna see so you you don't want any patchiness or unevenness over here so what I like to do is just use my fingers and blend the dye out and then when you're done doing this here is the part where you want to let your roots kind of absorb the color a little bit so you want to just tie your hair up and leave the color on your roots for about 10 to 15 minutes um, and then after 10 to 15 minutes I will be right back and I'll show you what to do next okay so it's been 20 minutes I know I said 10 minutes but the reason I said that is because you want to keep coming back to your hair every 10 minutes so that you can see if it's not developing too fast or if it's developing too slow because it all depends on the heat of your scalp so what I did is I left it on for 10 minutes I saw that the color was not lightening that much so I left it on for another 10 minutes and right now I'm okay with it and what I'm gonna do is put the rest of the developer all over the rest of my hair and then I'm going to leave that on just for five minutes just so everything is blended I'll show you guys real quick um, just an easy way to apply it all over your hair you just want to take a lot of it and I just use I kind of treat it like it's a uh, conditioner or shampoo and then I'll rub it in my hands a little bit and I'll just start applying it and then I'm gonna wash that off and then I'll show you guys the results I hope you guys enjoyed this video as you guys can see my roots have gotten so much lighter a few shades lighter it is now the next day I washed my hair I didn't style it it dried normally um, the conditioner that comes with the box it just makes your hair really silky and shiny and smooth so I didn't need to like style it or anything this is naturally dried um, hair and it did get I feel like two or three shades lighter which is perfect for me because I it was so dark as you guys can saw like as you guys saw it was really really dark and it just um, it just looked really weird and so now it's not the same color as the rest of my hair but it blends everything together and the more and more that I touch it up the more and more lighter the top gets and I'm okay with it so I'm not a professional but I like the way that I color my hair and I wanted to share with you guys because I get so many questions but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I'm uploading every single day in the month of December. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!